Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Uh, my name is Alexander, and I am greeting you on the behalf of the Coordination Group of 2025 Initiative. Hello, good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Ufe. I'm also with the Coordination Group. I am reaching you tonight from one of the darkest places on the planet at the moment, Scandinavia, Copenhagen. Not dark in that sense, but yes, you know what I mean. <laughs> And um, I'm now in New York, so we still have some light here. In the sh shortest day of the year, as it goes to the Northern Hemisphere, and the longest day for the Southern Hemisphere. And today yes. we get together to celebrate solstice, one of the key points of the year. Celebrating the light and calling the light. Yes. And um, from, as you know, from the ancient times, this time, it's time when people in different cultures been getting together with their communities, celebrating the light. And as it goes to the Northern Hemisphere, it was the time of the darkest on the densest point of the year and so people were believing if they will call the light the light will come and surprisingly it's never failed their expectations <laughs> and i guess that's the promise and that's the law of evolution the light is always coming and so we suggest that following this ancient tradition we do the same today we will call the light We will indeed, and to that uh, we have asked you all to keep a candle ready that we are in a minute going to, to light uh, everybody and following that we're going to do uh, an alignment and then we're going to think about um, an area in our life uh, or around us that needs uh, an extra portion, so to speak, of light. And uh, after that reflection, we're going to go into a meditation where we're going to call in the light. And there is certain magic and power, and I wouldn't even say it, signs, in simultaneous ritual of lighting the candle. And as Tibetan tells us, that's simultaneous, unanimous meditation through this powerful tool of simultaneous and unanimous meditation, world servers and meditators who, with pure intention, focus on the needs of humanity and serve through that me medium can bring a definite change. And so we will meditate today and tonight simultaneously with many people around the world, those who are on the call with us now, and those uh, who join in many other groups around the world at this very moment. And particularly, it's interesting that almost the same time, the Blue Rose Sisterhood with Moria Federation, they have their own webinar now and their own ceremony. Uh, celebrating solstice. So we will work in simultaneous alignment with their network as well. Yes, and, and in the meditation we will connect uh, with the different kinds of groups that are doing similar things. And specifically this Blue Rose Sisterhood because we know they're doing the same thing as us at this moment. Okay, Alexander, do you think we should uh, get to it? Do we need to explain anything more? Mm, I think we are ready to begin. And at the uh, end, there will be some time for silence. And if it will feel right, we will share our impressions of this 
ceremony of this ritual. And if not, we will ask everyone to share impressions from this celebration on our Facebook page of the 2025 initiative. And um, that way we would continue the note of this special sacred moment going on in time and space. Um, Sasha, to me it sounded like you you just uh, dropped out for a second. Could you repeat that, just in case uh, somebody missed it? Yes, uh, I said that at the end we will have, probably if it will feel right at that moment, we will have some sharing of impressions from this meditation. And if not, we would encourage everyone to share their impressions on our Facebook group, 2025 Initiative uh, Facebook uh, group. And that way we will keep our space that we will create now during this ritual, continuing it in time and space. Could you hear me this time, Ufe? I could certainly hear you. <laughs> so I hope everybody could. All right. But let's get uh, ready to do this small ritual of bringing in the light at this turning point where the light is actually returning, uh, at least in the northern hemisphere. So please get your candles and your matches or whatever you are choosing to use. And now let's strike a match and light the candle together. If you don't have a candle, just visualize that you do it. As soon as you have the candle lit, just spend a few moments looking at it maybe even trying to identify with it. And then let's close our eyes. Keeping this light in our minds, in our hearts. Steadying the body. Remembering what the body is, as Einstein puts it, congealed or frozen light. Steadying our emotions. We can do that by imagining a light shining from our hearts, maybe a small radiant sun, shining out and calming the emotions through its warmth and its love. And then we move our awareness into a center of light between our eyebrows. And steadying our awareness, our focus here between the eyebrows we would ask you all to reflect on an area within you or in your environment that you know needs a call of light. Let's spend a few moments reflecting on this. You might get more areas, but please select the one that you think needs 
the coal of light the most. When you have chosen an area, please pick a symbol that symbolizes it, something that is easy to remember, and picture this symbol in front of you, not inside you, but a little bit outside of you. Move your focus, your awareness backwards into the middle of the brain, the middle of the head. And there you visualize your focus as a miniature sun, a radiant sun in the middle of the head. Imagine that you can, from this point, look upwards through the top of your head and connect with a, a bigger sun a little bit over your head, symbolizing your soul, your essence. And see to it that there is a, a thread of light or a beam of light connecting that sun over your the top, the top of your head with the smaller sun in the middle of your head. Now let's visualize that we all stand in a great big circle all 55 of us on this call, 55 lighted beings in a big circle. Facing towards the middle. In the middle of the circle, there is a big golden altar. And on that altar, is a chalice or a bowl of golden light. And now let's together put all of our areas that need more light into this chalice. Let's do that now. So it becomes a gray shadow within this chalice of light. Our commune, our pool of areas that need light in coming into one. Now we all let the light from the sun above our heads shine in through the little sun in the middle of the head and out through the forehead 
So we create a beam of light and we direct it towards the chalice, the content of the chalice. Everybody now. So we have 55 great beams of light concentrating on this content of the chalice. Slowly beginning to dissolve this shadow, this darkness. And also invoking from the middle of this darkness the light that is inside the darkness, which now starts to grow, becomes more powerful. until it finally dissolves the shadow, the darkness completely and starts to radiate out to all of us. Becoming a radiant sun that is big enough to have everybody inside. all 55 of us becoming this great radiant sun. And as this group sun, let us do what suns do best. Let's shine and radiate in every direction. Let us be aware that there are several other suns, other groups that we can connect to, creating a network of radiating suns. all over the world. Literally lighting up the planet. Dispersing darkness shadows everywhere. Let's now be aware that there is a an even bigger sun out in the universe, our own solar system sun that we are all connected to through beams of sunlight. Let us direct all of our attention, all of our focus towards this great big sun. Let us feel the magnetic pull, the attraction that it naturally has to us. And let us gently, easy, flow into and melt into this sun. all the way into the sun, into the very core of the sun. It is not 
dangerous in any way. It makes us even more relaxed, even more radiant. And now we have a slightly different perspective. Being the sun and the sky, we can radiate down on planet Earth from here. We can see that all the human beings turn their heads towards the sun, taking in the sunlight, filling up their hearts with the love of the sunlight. We can see all the animals also loving the sunlight. We can see all the plants engaging in extra activity because of the sun. And we can even radiate the sunlight all the way down through the crystal structure of the planet, all the way down through the layers of the earth, all the way into the center of the earth. The center of the earth responds with a, an almost an explosion of light, which makes the whole planet into a radiant one full of light. Brilliant light shining everywhere. Let us hold this picture for a little longer. And then let us slowly detach from the bigger sun and gently flow back to earth. Down through the atmosphere and all the way down until we feel solid ground under our feet, the glow from our group sun slightly diminishes so that we once again is a group of 55, 57 lighted beings standing in a circle. fully charged with light. And then we can join in the ancient Hindu mantra that goes, Lead us, O Lord, from darkness to light, from the unreal to the real, from death to immortality, from chaos to beauty, and let us all do 
a silent OM together now. When you are ready, you can open your eyes again to the lighted candle, returning to light from where you came. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for joining us in this call of light. Merry Christmas. And happy Hanukkah. You are welcome to just sit for a while. We're going to keep the microphones open and the chat open if there's something you would like to share. And if you come to think of something at a later time, you are very welcome to write it on the Facebook page 2025 initiative. So yeah, let's now Keep the floor open for a few minutes. If, if nothing comes, we will just end. Otherwise, we will definitely see you at a later point. Maybe you, Sasha, can tell us about the next um, arrangement if you see fit. If anyone would like to share now any impressions, um, please use the function of raise your hand on the control panel and uh, we will unmute you and or you can write something in the chat window Um, Maria Cristina, you had your hand raised. We can unmute you. Go ahead, Maria Cristina. I just want to express deep thanks and gratitude to all. That's all. Thank you very much. And also, Alice. Alice Bonia. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but uh, I've unmuted you, Alice. Are you here, Alice? Maybe you didn't turn on your microphone. Uh, sorry, sorry. Okay, we can hear I, you. I didn't raise my hand. I don't know. Oh, why. you didn't. No. Oh, it's, it was showing here. I'm sorry. No problem. <laughs> well, happy New Year and thanks also for the information. Uh, Christine, more? Yes, thank you. I do tell you how powerful your visualizations were. I was able to give it physicality mm -hmm. because. I stand during the meditation and I can okay. feel 
the grounding. I can feel the pulsing to the sun. And I hope all of you felt what I did. I felt all of you in the group. Espavo. That means take back your power. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. There is a comment from uh, Isabel Quenk. Thank you for this beautiful sharing in the light of the very heart. Thank you also f for the silent OM, much more powerful. Uh, from uh, Jenny Bates, thank you very much for bringing us together to link in light and to send it out to all beings. The power of the group is very important today. Best wishes to all. From Josette Lucia, it's a strong meditation. I can feel the light in the darkness. I can feel the link between us so powerful. Iris Spelling, uh, Sharon Fay and I joining you from the group at, at LifeBridge. Thank you. Love, light, and power. Thank you. And we definitely join with the Solstice celebration at LifeBridge today. And there is. Uh, <coughs> <clears throat> Melia Helson says, I'm sending the Gayatri linking us all. I think it's it's beautiful reminding about Gayatri. Maybe we could, uh, before we all uh, part today, we at the very end, we sound the Gayatri together. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's a good idea. Do you know it by heart? Yes. Do you maybe have it so you could put it on the screen? Yes. Then um, to the people. Yeah. Let me bring it on the screen. It will take a few seconds to find it, and sure. maybe you can read. There is um, another comment. Yes, there is from Bonnie Svardal. I don't know if she's Swedish. Uh, could be. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. This was a powerful meditation, and I felt connected with the group in a way I normally do not. Love and light to all. And Isabel Kium um, says, I usually end my meditations with the Buddha's blessing. Love, compassion, joy, serenity to all beings north, south, east, west, above and below. <clears throat> Very nice, thank you. <clears throat> Car Carmen Barber, a very beautiful and powerful meditation, thank you. Uh, oh, Bonnie, she's Norwegian-American. <laughs> cool, thanks. <laughs> All right. Okay, so... I think we're uh, we're coming to a close to an end. Um, if you feel like it, you're welcome to to sound the the Gayatri mantra as a close. Uh, as soon as Sasha puts it on the screen. Um, yeah. You also s can raise your hand if there's anything you would like to say. Otherwise. Oh, there's a comment from Claire. Um, infusing our separate areas of darkness with light in the group, Chalice is an especially potent gesture that brings, brings illumination 
inspiration and comfort. This has been a blessed sharing affecting deep heart opening. Thank you all and and two for bringing the Blue Rose sisterhood, sisterhood into today's process. Blessings all. Oh, Charlotte. Oh. Charlotte uh, is happy to sing the Gayatri. Um, there, there is a re we we mute everybody, otherwise there's going to be um, microphone problems. But we can definitely unmute you, Charlotte. Uh, let me find you. So maybe we should just oh. do that. It's yeah. Over. I'm yes. Sorry to cut out. So I found you me. Hi. Just wanted to add the comment that came to mind that we're in the nine-year cycle today. So if we stream the light of the solstice into the next nine solstices and create a thread of suns. Mm -hmm. going upward. Sasha? It will be even more powerful. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sorry, that was a, I had a glitch on the phone. That's <laughs> okay. Um, is Sasha there with you, Katya? Are you two sitting together? Yes, yeah, we, we're close to one another, but he, okay. he's looking, he found the, the text, he's almost done, so. Okay, uh, Charlotte uh, Corby has uh, offered Great to, idea. Sing, to sing yeah. the Gayatri for everybody. I think that, that would be beautiful. So, yes. uh, um, if if he finds it, that's fine. Otherwise, we will now listen to, to Charlotte. I will unmute you now, Charlotte. Um, it, that is, I, I did get you wrong, right? Uh, that you would like to sing it to us? I'm happy to sing it all together, and I'm also happy to sing it to you. If you can yeah, hear me right now. We, we can. If we sing it all together, it's going to, there's going to be, uh, uh, the microphones are going to go together. It's not going to be very nice. So it's much better with just one, one voice, if you don't mind. And we can follow you, but with muted microphones. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> Om <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you very much, Charlotte. Thank you. This is on the screen the translation of the Gayatri. Not the exact, but close enough as um, 
as it was given in the books by Alice Bailey. O thou who gives the sustenance to the universe, from whom all things proceed, to whom all things return, unveil to us the face of the true spiritual sun, hidden by the disk of golden light, so that we may know the truth and do our whole duty as we journey to thy sacred feet. Thank you, everybody. Should we end on this note? I think that would be appropriate. Yes. Thank you. Happy solstice. Happy solstice. Happy solstice and sun consciousness to everyone. <laughs>